Hello everybody, I'm Fred uh, from uh, Springfield, Ohio. Been on this project uh, 13 years now and I've uh, been restoring the radio equipment and uh, we come across the dynamotor uh, that is used in the receiving and transmitting equipment in the, uh, in the bombers and the aircraft and uh, just trying to see what kind of voltages this uh, device uh, puts out. I'm putting uh, 24 volts DC into it and I'm getting uh, almost 240 volts DC out. Uh, it's called a dynamotor. It's a miniature motor generator and uh, they're used throughout the aircraft on many different pieces of uh, electronic equipment. Uh, they didn't have diodes and transistors back in World War II. They had vacuum tubes, and the vacuum tubes operate off high voltages. So that's the idea of this device. The, uh, the large transmitter uh, had a dynamotor that put out 1,200 volts at about a tenth or a quarter of an amp, and, uh, which is pretty lethal but they had to have the high voltage to make the transmitter operate uh, and so they could talk back to uh, England when they were over Germany. So that's the idea of these devices. They're little miniature motor generators and they develop high voltages. So why don't you show what you've got going in and out here and what the contacts are. And, uh, I've got uh, 24 volts going in this red wire uh, this is the minus side, and this is the high voltage side. Over here is the uh, the voltage going out. It's 235 volts DC. Okay, so you've got 24 volts coming in and 200 volts going out. Yes. And it's all mechanical. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then why don't you uh, show me the device that this is on? Uh, it goes on the on this radio receiver. It's got a quick change system on it with uh, that mates up with these uh, pins here and there's uh, clips that, that actually hold it on the uh, radio receiver.